everyone so what i'm going to make today is not a very complicated recipe or anything like that it's just how i normally make fresh fruit juice um so this is not the creamy fruits that i'm using like bananas or apples to make smoothie but this is the more citrusy fruits that um ends up giving a very light flavored um sort of a drink with a light texture it's pretty good to make it and store it in the fridge and uh, so that you can drink it whenever you feel dehydrated and this is better than buying ready-made juice from the shops because it's all natural and we are making it at home this is how i make and store them so i thought i'll just share it with all of you as well first i place the seedless grapes and mandarins into my smoothie blender make sure they are seedless then i'm going to add in some sugar and honey so that depends on your personal preference and blend it up together there we go so i've added some sugar honey and a little bit of water as well and it's ready to be blended up <laughs> And yes, this is my lovely shake and go blender and it's very handy. Once it's done, I'm going to strain it off into a jug. There we go, so it's nicely straining away. And now we are left with this lovely clear grape and mandarin juice. Next, I'm going to quickly juice a lime and add it into that as well. Here's a lovely lime juice. I'm just going to pour it in. Then I'm going to cut this passion fruit into half. I'm going to scoop up the pulp using a spoon and then place it off in along with these other fruit juices that I mixed up. How lovely is that? I just love the smell of fresh passion fruit. Just going to add it in. Adding in the passion fruit gives a very lovely texture for the juice as well. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adding in water until I'm happy with the taste. I've added in sufficient amount of water but then I'm not happy with the sweetness. So when that happens, I'll show you what I do. Here I've got the glass bottle in which I'm going to store the juice in. I hate storing it in plastic bottles so I just use glass bottle. This one's about 800 milliliters, so it stores a sufficient amount of juice into it. Because it's a big enough bottle, it saves me from refilling it all the time. And here's how I get it all in. I just use a funnel. Because before I wasn't happy with the sweetness, I'm going to add in the sugar before pouring in the juice. There we go. And once I add in the sugar, I'm going to add in the juice into the bottle. It makes it much easier when you have a funnel to pour it in with. Because I added in the extra sugar and it's lying there at the bottom, I'm not going to fill the juice all the way up to the top. I'm going to leave a little gap like that and then cover up the bottle and I'm going to give it a good shake so the sugar gets a chance to dissolve. Yep, so I'm going to give it a good shake. And once the sugar seems to have dissolved, I'm going to fill up the juice. And I'm going to close it and store it up in the fridge for when I'm thirsty so I can just have a very nice fresh fruit juice drink and also there's a little bit more excess left so what i normally do is i have these smaller bottles as well so i'll just fill it into this smaller glass bottle and trust me they won't last long because they're so yummy and tasty and so refreshing and light at the same time so they are not going to last long especially once it's in the fridge and chilled oh my god it's such a relief especially when you come after a hot day and you want a nice you know fresh fruit drink which is so refreshing and apart from that, here it is everyone. My lovely zesty fresh fruit juice is ready. You don't have to add the grapes, mandarin and passion fruit like I did. You can even make a simple lime juice the same way. Just squeeze lime, add in some water and sugar and maybe some honey or even ginger. You can personalize it however you want in order to get a nice, lovely, refreshing, fresh um, lift and uh, you know a hydrating boost during the day. So here it is everyone. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.